Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Today's video, I'm going to be using the Alt and the Shift key to, I'm making, I'm helping someone do this. And they're snowflakes, but they're not uh, traditional snowflakes. So we're going to uh, show you how you can, here's the trace version. And here's the one I just kind of drew. And here's the trace version. So we're going to make it a little bit better. I'm going to take a rectangle and I'm going to make it about that big. I'm going to, with my ratio unlocked, I'm going to go 0 0.05 and just give it a little turn. I'm going to go at the top other one, I'm going to go 0 0.05 and see, you see, I get a rounded end, but I don't want it particularly perfect. So I'm going to go to object and convert it to an, convert it to a curve. And then I can take these nodes and I can actually move them a little bit and make them like non perfect. And you could play around with this um, to your heart's content. You know, there's a lot of you can do here. Let me zoom in a little bit. You could actually probably take away one node, be able, maybe a little bit easier and see it's working together. If you right click on it, turn it into a cusp, but then only one handle will move it. So let's say that's pretty good. And then we're just going to control D and make a duplicate, set the rotation like right to the center of this, and we're going to rotate it. And then we're going to control D all the way around. Now it's not perfect because I didn't move it uh, at a certain degree, but that'll work actually better to make it un, uh, not perfect. So we're going to weld it together and we get that shape. So there's that. And then you fill it with the black, take away the outline and you have a much better looking snowflake as far as I'm concerned. And if, if we back up and rotate it a, a certain degree, so let's do that and make it more even. So we're going to take this and we're going to rotate it 22.5 degrees. Well, that's not enough. Let's go 45. And now we go control D and we'll go 90. And now just control D all the way around. So we got an even amount. So it's just what you want, how it to look. Take all this and weld it together. Take your smart fill tool. And it's always easier to take your smart fill tool. I've got my smart fill tool set on white. And then move that out of the way and you get rid of your outline. You can delete this outline. And it, even if you didn't want it, you know, a little bit, you know, different steel, you know, you could take your shape tool and grab some nodes and, and make every one of them a little bit different. Um, you know, snowflakes aren't perfect. And then what you're going to do, I would suggest when you're doing, um, doing them and putting them on there, you know, make a copy of it and then make the next one the opposite way and and then if you made a lot of them i'm just hitting the plus key and then i'm going to mirror them the other way and so you've got different looking snowflakes i did this one with a star and that's where the shift and so what we're going to do we're going to take the star tool we're going to set it on eight stars and eight sides anyway and this is where the shift and the alt key are going to come into hand we're going to go up to object and convert it to a curve. And then we're going to take all the nodes. And I just want to round the, the exterior one. So if I hold down the shift and the alt key, I get this freehand marquee. So now just my, my outside ones are selected. I'm going to go to windows, dockers, and corners. And I'm going to round off those corners and make it total, and then still on this one, you could make them not perfect. You know, if you, if you wanted to change them up and then take the smart fill tool and you've got a pretty good looking snowflake. Now you could round off the inside by doing the same thing. We're gonna take the shape tool and select them all. And now we're gonna hold down the shift and the alt key and we're gonna marquee around the outside, well, you know, that's not really going to work because it's going to do that. Um, but you could 
you know, if you could do them individually, and let's say we're going to just do the, well, there we go. Just hold down your alt and your shift key. I didn't mean to do that. We're going to do the inside this time. So I'm just going to select the inside and we're going to round them off. And once again, you've got a pretty neat looking snowflake if that's what it's supposed to be representing. Uh, much better looking than uh, the one that it traced. But, you know, it's a, it is a snowflake. And then this is just a, you know, like a elongated circle. And, you know, you could, this is the way it traced, but you could take the nodes and if you want them a little bit more of a circle, just move your, move your handles in and out. And then what I always kind of think about doing when I want to use a lot of these, so I'm going to take these four and I'm going to move them around and then kind of separate them. You know, separate them out a little bit, grab the new one and, you know, put it in there. I always use the plus key on this because if I use the duplicate key, the duplicate key is going to move it that same amount. So I'm going to control D and duplicate this guy. But when I control D again, look, it puts it in the same line. So if you have quite a few of these, and then we're going to take this and sporadically just put them through. And then if you want a lot of them, you could just take them all and group them together. Let's get to a bigger part of the page. And then control D and make a duplicate. Move them over. Mirror them another way so they don't look even and actually mirror it the other way so it looks sporadically. And then you would just fill it in, you know, your different parts. And, you know, if you go between the letters, uh, in this case, we're going to control G to group them. And let's say we're going to bring them into this scene. I'm going to make them a little bit smaller. And I wanted them right in here. I could just hold down the control key and just select a few of them. We'll actually just break them apart. Probably be the easiest. Go up to object, group, and ungroup. And probably have to ungroup them all because that's still a group. But see, you could bring them into that tree area, make them a little bigger. You know, I'm going to just put a couple here. And that's how I would do it. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. And thank you for watching.